Hello everyone and welcome back to Naval Action. We are back in our Through the Ranks series and I know it's been a while since the last upload. Uh, personal life has just been crazy. We've been having issues with the contractor, uh, made for a financial break, blah, 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 blah. So a lot of stuff has been going on and I do apologize very, very much for not doing my regular uploads uh, uh, on Naval Action for you all. Um, but moving forward, it's going to be... Uh, mainly this series and irregular uploads probably uh spring has hit and there's a few issues still to sort out but we are back in through the ranks and we are back in our Vapen from hamburg uh we've tried to do this fight a few times as well and uh just to show you the build before we get going it's a uh teak frame bermuda cedar planking so not really a tanky ship um We've managed to get it to a hundred thickness on the size, bit of extra side armor uh, due to putting navy planking on it. Port bonuses, uh, it's got gunnery three, hull three, which is pretty good. Uh, sailing one adds a bit, master and rig four, doesn't matter. And uh, we've been playing around with it long enough for us to actually unlock the full first book. So I put Seafackle's uh, last lock on it. Gives us a bit more morale when it comes to the boarding time. A bit more repair when we get in there, a bit more cannon reload. Speaking of cannons, we are rocking a mixed loadout. On the lower middle deck, we got 24 pounders and 18 pounder longs, and then we got a mix of carrows on top. Uh, so it's a bit of a mixed match because we've got close range for firepower to punch um, hard enough with the carrows, uh, but we also got the range. Um, with the longs so can do a bit of a mix and I've tried doing it earlier with a complete long loadout or complete caro loadout um, go either closer range or long range broadside broadside um, so for today we're gonna try a mix and we are still hunting for Ingermanland so uh, let's leave the port and uh, get hunting oh. let's make sure we got what we need I want to do that mistake again. So we need nine hull repairs and ten rig. Uh, we got fifty-six. So let's see if any are available here. None are. So with nine, thirty-six. We got about five rounds of repairs. Should be more than enough. Plenty of rum. So yep, leave port. I'll see you soon. We are out, so let's see, that's not one, that's definitely not one. <clears throat> the Ingerman has more or less the same profile as us, so it's easy to spot. Now, I've, there have been plenty around in this area here. What we're going to do, we're going to head west, see if we can find some around the point over here. Right now it looks pretty quiet, so... I'll bring it back once I find something to tag. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. The on second. Alright, we're back again and setting sail. We just crossed the point here of Akadil, as I said. It's only been a few minutes and we are in luck. There is a solo Inger coming out of Akadila. Or however that port's name is supposed to be pronounced. And he's heading in a favourable direction, not wind-wise, but... Uh, relative to the defences around here, because there is a square fort here, and a tower there, and another tower there. Uh, but he is heading southwest, um, more or less, west-southwest. So, we'll be able to catch up with him and actually engage without having to worry too much about defences here. Let's start getting it, uh, getting in behind him and uh, I came out. I am going to try and see if I can sneak in somewhat behind him for the first run with prepared. Give him a uh, set of chains up the rear. Give us a bit of an edge. If I manage to hit with my chains, because that's been an issue lately. And I haven't really been na playing naval action since I did my last upload, or since I recorded the last upload. 
Um, so you might see a bit of rust showing through here. Back. Didn't turn quick enough. Alright, so here we are, where is he? Right there, so that's not too bad. Two and four, four and two. Battle set. Should be able to swing a bit. Before he gets too far off. Uh, not firing from the stand, we're firing from the bow. And we're just firing the lower decks first. Alright, so decent effect. And you can see what I meant about it not being a tanky ship. He's definitely doing damage to his already. Coming behind him. Give him one up the rear with the doubles. <clears throat> Sorry. Angle in. Should be reloaded fairly soon. I want him to shoot my side, not my bow. Go, it's going to be a lot of bow shooting. Going behind him. Decent hit. I disabled the um, <clears throat> the upper deck um, from shooting simply for the <clears throat> simply for the fact that um, it was throwing off my aim a bit, and it also didn't really it doesn't add that much. There's not that many caros uh, on this side anyway, so better just to leave it there. Uh, we'll see if we can manage to reload here. I'm going to slow down a bit. You get the carrots in. I'm not sure if we get the longs ready. Uh, we'll see. We might get the longs ready. We'll aim for the longs. And those 24 carrots. 36 is. Going out. Damn good shot. Damn good shot. All right. Reload up. Uh, let's disable the year bounce down crew for now. Come around. Give them the 68s. Knocked out his rudder. Right, so far so good. Well, we've managed to dodge a lot of damage with the uh, sailing we've done. Uh, so far, so once you start shooting back, we might be in a different state. See if we can get a bit of an angled shot in on him here. Good amount of damage. Outcoming fire.
And I'll say that's the signal turn is your first repair. <laughs> right, watch the wind, watch the wind. Wanna come up behind him. Can't come much closer to the wind here. But it's fine. We'll come up behind him. He might get a shot off early, but... Fire. This should be good. Starting to turn around. We're going to do the same. I want to go slow enough that we don't ram him to him. Gonna be an odd angle here. Good hit. Another good hit. Now, if we wanted to just sink him, just keep on doing this. But we don't. We actually want to take him a prize. Crew of the sails. Be on the guns too. We'll come in for one more rake and that will probably be it. And we do need to start to worry about taking off his armour. And his crew. We'll do one more raid. We did pretty well with the crew damage on the raids as well. What remains to take 89 of them. Without it being that intentional. I'm wondering if they tweak the inertia a bit since I've been on last. So it does feel a bit more sluggish. And game labs isn't really known for doing the best of uh, the best of patch notes. Put it mildly, actually. All right, once more, he's turning. Maybe it was a counter turn here. He is. Could turn down a bit on that one. Alright, we don't want to do more central structure until we move, remove armor on one side. And I preferably want to engage from my opposite side. See what we can do here. That's done. about an angle for now slight crew advantage but not much fine let them shoot need to turn wow penetrations even at that angle Not good. Fire. Give him the sixty-eight for good measure. Arrows on high. I may have actually screwed the pooch a bit by doing so much structural damage to him that I need to be very careful how much armor damage I do. Um, I 
I didn't think of that, man. I do want to take down his sidearm as we take his crew out. Um, but, uh, you know, with grave shots. And to do so, we need to reduce him to about 30% of his armor. But doing uh, damage to his armor also does damage to his structure. And I've wrecked that pretty hard already. And I don't want to risk him sinking and have to do this all over again. Alright, this is going to be the last... That was the last round of... Uh... Yeah, that was definitely the last round of uh, of ball um, and double, or yeah, round shot and double. I'm gonna go full sails. Right, we have taken a beating a bit. We're gonna fall off. He is somewhat slowed. Oh, we took out his pump. <laughs> I might ups end up sinking this guy instead of capturing it. This, that's not the intention. Alright, we got another 5 minutes and 30 seconds before we can repair. What we're going to do is just going to run for a bit. And I'll bring you back. Once we're done with the cycle of repairs, I do want to get my armor up a bit before we get in there. Because we do need to take on a bit of damage as we uh, grape him down. And I don't want to get into a situation where I get sunk because I need to close for boarding. We're going to run for a few minutes. Keep an eye on the timer. Four, four minutes, 43 seconds. Um... Just gonna run for a bit and let that run, get a repair done, and then we're gonna turn and engage. So, a short break, and we'll be right back to the fight. See you in a second. Alright, we are back again. Uh, repairs just finished. Uh, we're up to two thirds, more or less, and uh, reloading grape shot on the port side here. I've been shooting a bit of chain at him uh, for the past minutes, and. Uh, just reduced him a bit uh, on his sales, so actually nothing much, down to 83. And so now we're going to turn in and we're going to start through uh, and try and remove any of that crew. I also begun preparing for boarding um, as I don't want to spread it out too far, but we are going to try and see if we can get a few um, stone rakes in with uh, Grape Shot. And Grape Shot is probably going to be our better option uh, up the stern um, to do damage without taking too much damage ourselves and then force a boarding on either side. So far, we're coming in at a good angle. Bound shots have come out. Well, technically, because paper thin walls but he's going slow so we're going to turn in behind He's turning already. Smoke screen. Not overly impressed by that. We did, on the other hand, take a massive hit there.
preparations are almost done for boarding. But we're not at a massive advantage. Around from the grape and Just clear him. I've got slight advantage here in numbers. And we do have rum on our side, so I want to get in there now. At least try to maintain this position on this side. Gonna pass this up. Get hit. Want to get too far up? a bit closer Power. another 11 off let's see if we can close with him we're pulling in Pulling. All right, let's get ready. In firepower. Some odd reason. His preparations are down, his morale is down. We're going to do a three and five.
charge straight into the deck cancer cans. Ah, oh, he had firepower five. F off. Some odd reason. I just need to check my commands here for a second. Deck guns. Brace. Options. Rolls. Instant. I. There we go, they reset my commands. At some point they've reset the controls at one of the updates. Do you want to check that? Every time there's an update, you do really want to check that uh, you have the uh, thing set up as you want to. Good attack in. Firepower's going up, so we're going to brace. Grenading on his part. Disable the gun crews, we'll get a maximum of borders in. Boat shot going out. We're doing well for now, we get moral advantage and our preparations are coming back up. Can't believe I charged straight into that deck and again. I was sitting there, don't charge on the first round, don't tag on the first round, and then I Oh, I have firepower if I didn't. Yeah, just dumb. That was my fault. Wait for a bit more, just stick grenades, and just gonna go deck guns, and then we're gonna attack. Oh, he braced. Uh. What is he doing? Deck guns is every fourth. Uh, deck guns went. Grenades and then we're good to go. Morale's down to 38. Preparation is high on our side. Good attack, good attack. His morale's down. But we still can't fight him that close, so we are gonna try and do a dickon. Deck guns. Race up for preparation. He's down to nine morale and 115 crew. We should have this in the bank, but let's don't sell it out too soon. We've done that before and got in into a heap of trouble. Uh, brace once more. Just a dead gun, so just his grenades. I'm going to attack for the last second here. Act 33. Alright, let's push through this if we can. Uh, melee 17. No. Deck gun it. We can't. Question is can we actually force it through? We are losing more than him, but we can spare the crew. Not losing that much more than him, but he is gaining. Um, brace it. I mean, he, he kills two more than me in that last round with that minus three. Um, or uh, actually four more for the defend. Um, so, he was slightly gaining morale there, even though he was losing crew. There you go, more. 
That was grenades, that was their guns. We sadly don't have the preparation to attack. Just gonna have to sit through it. Grenade should be up next. Yeah. It's still should still be one more round for deck guns. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, yeah, yeah. You have the preparation for a last second attack. Boom! We got him. Alright, for once we played the uh, boarding ride, actually, well, if you ignore that first attack. Um, but besides that, we actually played the boarding ride. Uh, and, uh, didn't, didn't storm straight into you, cannon fire and stuff like that every goddamn time. So, let's see um, what we'll get from this. And finally, we managed to get an... Really? Is that it? That's all you got. Jeez. All right. What is she made of? Uh, Sappy White Oak. Okay. Um, it's a standard. And... Sailing one, hold two. This is almost worse than what we actually have, isn't it? Or is it worse than what we have? A bit more armor. <laughs> but really, that's... Oh, uh, yeah. Alright, well, anyway, transfer a bit of crew onto her. Uh, yes, let's crew. And add her to the fleet. We're going to head back to port and uh, rearm, refit, and uh, we'll be off. Alright, a bit of XP and we need to start heading south. We are still somewhere up here and we need to come back down to Mona. Oh, we could... Actually, I've made a port up in Arecibo, so... I'll probably limp up there and see what I can get. And, uh... Oh, Mona. Right, not enough ship to fight that. Anyway, I'm going off trail here. Going back to port, I'm going to... Um... Rearm and refit the uh, the Ingerman, and then it's time to hunt one of my favorite ships. Oh, an elite Pavel. You always find elite ships when you're not in the right ship. Anywho, then it's time to go out and hunt one of my favorite ships, which is the Agamemnon. Um, that guy there. Let's see what we um. But yeah, Agamemnon, it's a great, great ship. I really enjoy playing it. And um, yeah, that's going to be interesting in a uh, in a top hunting down the Agamemnon. Especially one where we just get one upgrade and we have no books on it. But we'll see. Um, that's for the next episode. Hope you enjoyed the content. Once again, I do apologize. It's been a while. Um, and uploads are going to be irregular going forward until I sort out what is going on in real life. Until next time, stay safe.